Oh, hello, welcome along. I'm setting out to do something I've wanted to do ever since I found out that there's a bit of the Great Central Railway you can't usually travel on. Well, today you can, and it's hauled by steam, so here we jolly well go. If you know about UK Heritage Railways, you'll know that the Great Central Railway operates between Loughborough and Leicester North. There are two intermediate stations at Cornham Woodhouse and Rothley. Today I'm basing myself at Rothley, as this is where the trains start that are running along the infrequently operated Mount Sorrel Railway between Spitherland Upsiding and Mount Sorrel. The branch as it is today was rebuilt by the Mount Sorrel and Rothley Community Heritage Centre. Work started in 2010 and the branch opened to the public in October 2015. Here's our train pulling into Rothley Down platform, top and tailed by two steam locomotives. At the rear of the train is number 78018, a BR Standard Class 2MT 260 locomotive, built in 1953 at Darlington North Road Works. It's a bit of a celebrity, featuring in a 1955 British Transport Films documentary, Snowdrift at Bleeth Gill. At the other end of the train is a J24 type Hunslet Austerity 060 saddle tank, NCB number 18. Built in 1954, the locomotive worked in a number of Scottish collieries until its retirement in 1972. Save for restoration in 1983, it passed through the North Norfolk and Weirdale railways, coming to the GCR in 2008. It's been under overhaul for the last 15 years, and this weekend is its debut back in service. Right, must be nearly time to go. The Mount Sorrel Railway started in November 1859 from the local quarries of the Mount Sorrel Granite Company, running one and a half miles to a point half a mile south of Barrow upon Saw Railway Station. By the end of the century, there were eight and a half miles of track serving the local quarries. The line was extended and by 1898 ran to the Great Central Railway at Switzerland Sidings. The line fell out of use in the 1950s. The track taken up in the 1960s and most of the route was abandoned.
Three quarters of a mile along the branch is the first station at Nunkley Hill, serving the Mount Sorrel and Rothley Community Heritage Centre. We're off to the terminus at Mount Sorrel now, around two-fifths of a mile or 600 metres further down the line, where Bond Lane crosses the track bed. Ruston and Hornsby 48DS, works number 393304, was built in 1946 for the Barden Hill Quarry. After its retirement it made it into preservation and is now owned by Leicestershire County Council, who loaned it to the Heritage Centre in 2016, where it works as you see here giving shunting demonstrations.
Andrew Barclay Works No. 1223, built in 1911, is in steam today as it has a boiler inspection on the following day. It was purchased by the Heritage Centre in October 2020, originally delivered to Colin McAndrew and & Company and employed on a contract building accommodation at Bedford Military Barracks in Edinburgh. After passing through owners in Hebron-on-Tyne and Warrington, it was sold for preservation in 1966. It spent a number of years at the Chasewater Railway before moving to Nunkley Hill. The Robert Stevenson, the chap who went on to design the Menai Strait Britannia Bridge, lifting bridge from 1834, now has a home at the Mount Sorrel and Rothley Community Heritage Centre. It originally crossed the Grand Union Canal on the Leicester and Swannington Railway. Rescued in the 1960s as a historically important example of Robert Stevenson's early work, it has been reconstructed using new timbers, as the originals did not survive, but with the period cast and wrought iron works.
An unusual non-stop run through Rothley Up platform. We're heading for Rothley Carriage Works where we can cross over to the down line and return to Rothley Station ready for the next trip along the Mount Sorrel Branch. The Mount Sorrel and Rothley Heritage Centre is an excellent place to visit, even if the branch line isn't operating, so I definitely recommend it. The Heritage Centre opens daily from 10am to 4.30pm, and entrance costs at the time of making this video in June 2024 were £2 for adults and £1 for children aged 2 to 15. Well, we're back at Rothley and the end of this branch line excursion. Keep an eye on the Great Central Railway website as they do have occasional weekends when you can travel on the Mount Sorrel branch, sometimes with a diesel multiple unit, in 2023 with a North Eastern Railway auto car and occasionally as today with steam locomotives. I hope you've enjoyed this look at one of the rarer sections of the Great Central Railway. Thanks for coming along and I hope to see you again soon. Keep an eye out for the next video coming up on the GCR Night Gala featuring steam and diesel traction on passenger freight and parcels trains operating in the dark. See you soon! <laughs>